This video is actually kind of like a response video to a question I was asked on Tumblr by His Mind Palace. And let me see. Yeah, the very last thing, it's like, um, he, he asked me, or she, yeah, I think it's a he, I don't know. How and when did you find out you were an INTP and which type would you want to be for a day? I like his um, Tumblr thing too, because it's actually Benedict Cumberbatch, which I'm assuming is like Sherlock which is a lot of INTPs claim him to be an INTP, so, but I don't know, I like Sherlock. Anyway, so I wanted to answer those questions, and I guess we'll start off with, when did I find out? I found out, kind of, I think when I was 13, which I think was a good time to find out, because that's when, you know, kids are like, oh no, I'm changing, who am I? <laughs> so, I think that was good, and the way I found out maybe wasn't that great. Um, Basically, someone in my family had died, and my parents sent us, all the kids, to a psychologist. And we, just to see if we were okay, because, I mean, after a traumatizing event. And basically, I went and saw the guy there. It was a wife and husband couple. Wife and husband. Husband, yeah, either way. And, yeah, I went and saw the husband, and we just, we ended up, after basically the initial thing... I, I guess when I was younger, I always kind of inquired about, you know, different things. And I think I just asked questions more about psychology than having to do with the actual reason why I was there. So, I don't know, we just talked about different theories. And, like, I even have papers that he gave me from when I went there, which was a while ago. And, like, general theories of love and, like, transactional analysis basics. And... Yeah, he would just print out stuff for me for me to take home and look at. And then I would come back next week and we'd talk about it. It was pretty cool. I think that's when I really became interested in psychology and just in general. And that's when I knew I, that from that point on for a long time, I was like, I want to be a psychologist. And yeah, and how I figured out, like he ended up giving me a test for Myers-Briggs. And that's how I figured that out because he took, I took the test and I was an INTP. And he was actually an INTJ, so which I think from all the INTJs I've known, INTJs are always really fun for um, INTPs to debate because INTJs can kind of play the devil's advocate like more so than the INTP can. Like they can really like, I don't know, try to get you to see things you didn't see before. Just bring up certain, which I really like because the more you know, the more different, like, different outcomes or opinions or possibilities for just being facetious like that. Some people can't stand it. Like, they hate it when people do that because they're like, why do you have to argue with me? But I'm always just like, well, either it's right or it's wrong. And I will be like, it's not right because of this. So that's, I like it because it's like a, it's like a checker. It's like, I don't know. I, I don't know. They just like to do that. But yeah, that's how I found out. And I think that was really good for me because I was able to kind of find out who I was young, because I used to think there was something, you know, wrong with me, of course. I thought, because I couldn't, it was hard for me to interact with people like other people did. And I knew I was different. Like, I think most INDPs know they're different when they're younger. But, um, but I'm sure some people can be like, oh no, like, everyone's so different. Angst, angst, angst. But, yeah. I, I, I don't know, INDPs are just the, the detached part and just being observing but um yeah 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 oh and what type do i want to be for a day i would not mind being an entp because i really like being an intp like i wouldn't be any other type truthfully because once you i think once you go intp you don't go back because <laughs> you realize how important it is like to know like to think critically about things but i'm sure other types have you know, they're things that they like about themselves, and they wouldn't want to be anybody else either. So I think it's good to be happy with yourself. But ENTP, because I want to have better extrovert intuition so I can make, I can have more ideas. I want, it'd be cool to have that to be dominant for a while, because your TI can kind of crowd out any new ideas, because it's just like crunch, 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 and it won't stop thinking. But if you had, you know, extrovert intuition as your dominant, you can think of a lot of ideas, and a lot of ENTPs are millionaires they're like entrepreneurs 
So I actually have a book called The Entrepreneurial uh, Personality, and they actually state it as an ENTP is like a standard entrepreneur. So basically what's wrong with INTPs is they have a low PSE adaptability, which they can't like, like sometimes they get by the outside world, they get bogged down and it tires them out. So, and that's why they might not be able to meet like certain stressors. But anyway, that's just a weird side note. But yeah, that's just my response video, and this one was just as long as the last one. And I can only, I can only do two videos on like one subject, I can do like two videos, because after that, it gets bad, because I start forgetting things, and I just end up not posting. So this is going to have to be the one, either this one or the last one. Why am I telling you this? Alright. And thanks for the question, and thanks for yeah, just the, e like the message, because I don't know, it's really cool that people like appreciate what I'm doing, just like sharing my thoughts. I don't know. It's fun. All right. Thanks.